we're out here in the Pacific Northwest, our Directors of Toughness position has taken us all over the globe. And to kind of wrap it all up, we decided to come back here into Columbia's own backyard uh, and doing a little adventure close to home. So the first stop on our Oregon adventure was mountain biking. And it was a typical Northwest day, wet and windy. So the rain out here is about as cold as rain can get. We are just a couple hundred feet below the snow line. You know, typically I don't ride in rain gear, uh, but this was an exception. You know, they were kind of the perfect thing to keep me clean, to keep me mud free, uh, and to keep me dry while we were biking around in the woods. The next morning, we woke up and had a little break from the rain. And we got out on the Columbia River to catch a sunrise. It was really peaceful and serene and a nice relaxing start to the morning before the rain broke again. That afternoon, Lauren and I continued our adventure with some hiking. We got off the beaten path and went for a hike through some old growth forests that are always super wet and really well known in the Pacific Northwest. So the big challenge for us in kind of a classic Northwest adventure is doing a summit to sea. We took it upon ourselves to keep the tradition alive and try to summit Mount Hood and get down to the coast and surf all in the same day. So we woke up super early to get our alpine start going at four in the morning. Immediately as we started climbing, we knew that it was gonna be really tough to summit. There were really gusty winds, freezing rain, and almost zero visibility. It's some of the worst weather I've ever encountered. In the Pacific Northwest, something that's totally unpredictable is the weather. And unfortunately, the conditions were such that we weren't gonna be able to make it to the top that day. So Zach and I have been traveling all over the world, but we found some of the toughest, harshest conditions right in Oregon, in Columbia's backyard. But the amazing thing is we were actually very warm and you know we were exerting energy and we were creating body heat but also our gear was trapping that heat inside and allowing us to stay warm in those really adverse conditions. After making it back down the mountain, Zach and I packed up our gear, hopped in the car and headed down the highway towards the coast. We got some surfboards and some wetsuits and we took a hike down to Short Sands Beach for a little afternoon surf session. The sets were coming in one after another. Lauren and I were dropping into wave after wave, really carving some beautiful turns. Surf was up and we were having a blast. I'm just kidding, Lauren and I are both terrible surfers. We couldn't paddle out to the last set of waves. We were getting hammered left and right. Stood up a few times in some white water. You know, but ultimately we were just out at the beach and when are you not having a good time at the beach? We got a bonfire going. We had some friends around. You know, it was just a great culmination to an incredible six months. It felt really great to just kind of bring everything full circle and come back home at the end of the day. You know, really where Columbia cuts its teeth is on the harsh weather conditions of the Pacific Northwest. And, you know, we saw all of that while we were here. We got to see the kind of weather that really does inspire this company and their gear and why it has to be tested tough. 